Hello everyone, this is my son Gensei. He's now 2 years old and he has been rejecting milk since he was 3 months old. And we have been trying many different ways to make him drink milk. So now I'm going to share with you our milk feeding journey. Let's pretend that this is my baby. He was still on breastfeeding when he was 3 months old and he began to refuse latching on. So I'll need to persuade him to latch. At first, I only need to talk to him or pet him lightly and show him more affections. But after a few weeks, it doesn't work anymore. So we tried offering him a bottle and yes, he would drink from the bottle. At that time, we thought that perhaps he just prefer bottle. But again, when he was at 4 months old, he refused to drink the milk again. So we started to offer him some toys. So from this moment onwards, feeding him milk requires help from someone else to keep him entertained. And when he was 5 months old, he totally wouldn't want to latch no matter what we try. So I can only latch him while he's sleeping, so it's a drink fit. Feeding with bottles also start to get more challenging. Sometimes we walk around using this traditional baby carrier. We call it salendang or jari. We even tried feeding him on a wheelchair where someone have to push me when I'm feeding him a bottle and he gets to enjoy the scene when drinking. When he was 6 months old, I feel a little bit at ease cause feeding session has decreased as he start to eat solid food. He eats quite well although he is picky for his food and once in a while we actually replace his milk with cereal or some other home cooked food because he just won't take the milk. And when he turns 8 months old, he just won't drink the milk and we are really out of methods. We tried many different brands of formula milk and different types of milk bottles. So that's when we start introducing him to YouTube. He enjoys watching these videos from Dave and Ava and yes, feeding is a lot easier now. And when it gets harder again, the one who holds the video will need to offer him toys. So at this moment, it is a video plus a toy for drinking. As he grows, he also knows better how to reject the milk. He only wants to take water from the bottles and not the milk. We will first pretend to feed him water and quickly change to the milk while keeping him entertained with toys and the video. Soon after, he was already able to realize that there are two bottles and he wouldn't want to take the one with the milk. That's when we start to feed using only the nipple parts of the bottle. We will first pour some water into the nipple cups and he will gladly open his mouth to drink. And before he finish the water, the one holding the video have to quickly pour the milk into the nipple cups. And again, before he finish the milk, we need to quickly pour again so he could drink continuously. He is also very picky for his video. We will have to change the videos and toys frequently to keep him entertained. After a few months of using this method, again it doesn't work anymore. And we started to use a string. The string that I'm using comes with a safety cap and it can hold up to 10 ml which is very convenient for me. And also the loop here at the top allows me to use it with only one hand. So I'll pretend feeding him some water at the start and change to the string of milk while keeping him entertained with videos and toys. And finally now he is big enough to keep on running away from my lap. So I'll need to put him on a high chair so he could be seated properly and drink the milk. However, now we are not able to use the string because he's in the sitting position. And so he's actually drinking from a bowl and using a spoon. Well, I know it is very unusual, but it works. And even though he's sitting on a chair, I need someone to hold him from the back. Otherwise, he will try to avoid me from feeding him by shaking his head, body, or he could even hit my spoon away. And of course, I still have to change the video very frequently. 
otherwise he will get bored and he wouldn't want to drink again. Sometimes he would prefer to take yogurt rather than milk, so I give him yogurt instead, or I also mix some of the yogurt into his milk. And until today that he is already 2 years old, we are still using this method. So here comes the end of our feeding experience sharing. And well, I know that some people strongly disagree with offering a YouTube videos for a young toddler, but it really helped us a lot. And we managed to feed him milk every day, even though it's difficult. So thanks for watching. And see you again in our next videos.